Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday, so I wanted to make sure that you guys had a fresh, seasonal, simple, delicious dish you could whip up to help celebrate your moms. For this quick bite, I'm showing you how to make my clean and delicious asparagus and Swiss frittata. So we're gonna start with our egg mixture. Get a nice big bowl, and in the bowl I've got three whole eggs, and to that I'm adding one cup of egg whites. Now I like buying these pre-separated egg whites at the grocery store because I use them quite a bit and they're really convenient, but if you didn't, you're gonna need 12 egg whites, or if you wanna stick to whole eggs, six whole eggs. Then one tablespoon of milk, and we're just gonna give that a quick whisk, break those yolks and bring everything together. Then we're ready for our cheese. I've got two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. That's gonna give it a nice nutty flavor. And three ounces of shredded Swiss cheese. Now, you could buy the cheese pre-shredded, of course, but I always prefer buying it in a block and then shredding it up myself because this way you avoid any of the anti-caking agents and you end up with a creamier, more flavorful cheese. Give this a little pinch of salt and some black pepper, and then you're just gonna gently fold the cheese into the egg mixture. Once you've got your cheese folded into the eggs, you just wanna set that aside, and then the only other thing you're gonna need to do is get half of a chopped onion ready to go. And one bunch of asparagus cut into one inch pieces and then give it a quick steam. I put mine right in the microwave for three minutes. You want it to just be tender, but still nice and crisp and al dente. Once you've got all your ingredients prepped and ready to go, you wanna heat up a non-stick saute pan, 10 or 12 inch, over a medium high heat. We're gonna add a tablespoon of butter into the pan and let that melt down. Now, I'm using a 12 inch pan because that's what I've got, and I'm gonna get a nice thin frittata. If you like your frittata a little bit thicker, then go with the 10 inch pan. Once your butter's melted down like mine has here, you're gonna add in that chopped onion. So we've got half a chopped onion. You give it just a small pinch of salt. That's gonna help pull up all the liquids out of that onion. Our goal with the onion here is not to have it brown. We just want it to release all its flavor and all of its juices. And once they're translucent, you know you're ready for the next step. So you see this right here? That's exactly what you want. Now I'm gonna to toss in that bright green asparagus that I gave a quick steam right into my onions, another kiss of salt, and a little bit more black pepper, just layering the flavor as we go along. Toss this all together. You just want the onions and the asparagus to be well combined and have that seasoning all over it. And then what you're gonna do is take that egg mixture, give it one last whisk, and then pour it right over the veggies. You wanna make sure that all the asparagus is covered with the eggs. Okay, shut off the heat, and then this whole pan is going into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. We want it to just cook through. When it just sets, you know it's ready to go. Now, if you guys wanted to put this all together to make a nice little buffet brunch for mom on Mother's Day, here's what you could do. You set out your uh, asparagus and Swiss frittata, a little simple green salad tossed with a nice light vinaigrette, some fresh fruit, and then of course, for good measure, my clean and delicious chocolate chip scones. All of that with some fresh hot coffee and your mom will be in seventh heaven. Now this is perfect. Now you're gonna know that it's cooked because it's gonna be nice and light on the top. It's not gonna be all brown, that would be a little overcooked, but it's set in the middle. So when you put your finger on there, it's got a little spring. So we're just gonna give this a few minutes to cool off, then we'll loosen up the sides, slide it right out of the pan. Mmm, that is so good. The asparagus is still a little al dente, so it still has a nice little crunch to it. And then you get the nuttiness of the Parmesan and the creamy Swiss cheese. You guys have got to try this one. I am a mom, so I can promise you, your mom will enjoy this. Now, if you guys wanna print this recipe, head on over to cleananddelicious.com and it'll be there waiting for you. 
Thanks so much. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Clean and delicious asparagus and Swiss frittata. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I do that.